شوي مع ابن عمي واختي مع الانزال مشيت انا بس مش حاسس انه في عبء بالله دعاس طلعت فيه هون العدل كانت مفروع كله هاي ام لم لم لي اياه وحطوا له السياح وهل اجر هاي كله انفلع وهل ايد كسر Massive use of cluster bombs in Lebanon in 2006 and the devastating impact it had on its civilians, as widely reported in the media, helped kickstart the Oslo process just a few months later. This led to the Convention on Cluster Munitions, which banned these weapons. This is Lebanon. It's from north to south, 200 kilometers. In 2006, the UN estimates that Israel dropped around 4 million submunitions here in south of Lebanon. So uh, out of these 4 million, around the quarter did not explode. Mine action organizations in, in these areas, we have a number of mine action organizations have, are working on clearing this. 60% have been cleared, 40% have not, and Lebanon needs the support, continuous support of other countries so that this can be accomplished by 2015. The Convention on Cluster Munitions entered into force on the 1st of August 2010. It bans the use, production, stockpiling and transfer of cluster munitions. Under this convention, states have 10 years to clear contaminated areas. This land is approximately 40,000 square meters, which is equivalent to 30 acres. It will take up to three to four months of clearance. And the reason why people are not using it, as you're seeing right now, it's contaminated and you see all the vegetation. While you can tell the difference between here and across from us up the hill where the houses and the land is being used and cultivated as well. We are entering the field, um, conducting clearance. We are not allowed to move the clusters. Even if, if you find five clusters per day, you will make demolition um, uh, for each one in the same position without moving them because it's dangerous. Uh, now they are checking the, the locator, the Schoenstatt, if it is working correctly. Fire in the hole, fire in the hole. You know, the problem after 2006 was so huge. You know, first of all, we start to clean all the high impact, like school and the villages, buildings, houses, uh, hospitals, and so on. After that, we move to the medium impact, like valley, mountain, and so on. And uh, now the result is, we clean 67% around 48.1 square kilometer and still remain 33% equal to 18.1 square kilometer. In addition to the Lebanese government support and other donors support, we need to clean uh, the area, the 18.1 square kilometer, we need 75 million US dollars. Until the land is cleared, unexploded cluster bombs continue to pose a deadly risk to civilians going about their daily lives. Risk education is an obligation under the convention. The Scouts Associations of Lebanon are one of the most active groups working in this field. In general, uh, my risk education it, it makes a lot of difference, especially for kids. But, uh, and, uh, uh, especially when we show them the pictures and, uh, uh, and sometimes we show them uh, the pictures of the injured people, injured kids, so they will suffer and show them the difference. Look for X before and after, with leg and without leg, so they will be uh, so afraid and will not get in a dangerous area. 
Don't be close. Don't touch. Inform directly. It's been one year since the Convention on Cluster Munitions entered into force, and we want to see governments putting this treaty into action. That means destroying stockpiles of cluster bombs, and also for affected countries, it means clearing contaminated land, and also helping communities and victims that have been impacted by the weapon. And those countries that haven't yet banned cluster bombs should also join the Convention and rid the world of these deadly weapons. <laughs> 36-year-old Mohammed Zin was nine years old when he stepped on a cluster bomb. He now plays football with a team of cluster bomb survivors in South Lebanon. For Lebanon, as a country affected by these weapons, the other key component of the Convention on Cluster Munitions is victim assistance. All affected countries are obliged to help victims and affected communities. كنا عم نلعب يعني وصار في مثل دعس ففجرت فيه أثناء غبت عن الوعي شوي فبس صراحة بعد شهرين وعشرة أيام كنت عم بلعب فوتبول إرادة الحياة هي اللي بتخلي الشخص يتغلب على أي شيء اللي كان اللي هو التغيير كل سنتين ونص تقريبا يعني حسب الاستهلاك بس إذا بيكون في أطراف رياضية هذه كي ما بتتغير هذه كي مدى الحياة يعني لأنه بيجي كلها مليحة نوعية مليحة ما بيتغير بصير نلعب في طبيعي أكثر من هيدا يعني. Last year, Laos hosted the first meeting of states parties and developed a 66-point action plan. This year, Lebanon will host the second meeting of states parties to review progress in implementing the action plan one year on. You know, the Liban has eu... Euh, le grand honneur et la grande joie d'accueillir de, la deuxième réunion des États partis à la Convention sur les euh, bombes à munitions à Beyrouth. Cette réunion aura lieu entre le 12 et le 16 septembre. Bien sûr, le Liban a adressé des invitations. Ces invitations ne concernent pas seulement les États partis, mais aussi les États qui n'ont pas signé la Convention. Nous espérons que nous faisons face à ce défi qui touche non pas le Liban, qui touche plusieurs pays dans ce monde. Survivors and affected communities around the world also want to see this plan put into action. وانا بتمنى انه يكون في هندسه وينطفوا الجبل ونحن مش عايشين غير من ورا العنزين وبتمنى انه باخر شيء بالكون بدي غير الطرف طرف Hey.